Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back. We have a fun video plan for today. We are actually in my craft room, which is basically just a spare room in the house that everybody puts all their crap into, and I also sew in here. This is episode three of preparing for the craft fair, my very first craft fair. The first two episodes of the series are crocheting, um, but this episode is gonna be sewing because I am a girl of multiple trades and I sew, I knit, you know, I crochet, I do a lot of things. And for this craft fair, I am planning on having some sewn items out. Um, there are a couple things I wanna make, like uh, makeup bags, you know, bowl cozies, ramen cozies, things like that and wristlets so the goal for today is just going to be to cut and iron all the fabric for like all the different projects so i want to make uh makeup bags as you can tell this is my little cart of fabric um, that's all i have so i've been buying fabric here and there every time i go um so i have a bunch of different um, fat quarters and just rolls of like discount fabric i've seen as i go so Today is going to be really organizing my fabrics out, figuring out what fabrics I'm going to do makeup bags in, what fabrics I'm going to do like pint cozies in, and what fabrics I'm going to do bowl cozies, and then all of the scrap fabric will be made into keychain wristlets. So that's kind of what I'm doing as far as like items go for the market. So this whole week is just going to be sewing. So this is day one, and for today we're just going to be organizing the fabric and cutting everything I need cut in the right dimension so that we can start sewing tomorrow, hopefully. If not tonight, I mean, if I have nothing else to do, I'll be sewing tonight, but most of the day is just gonna be cutting and ironing, cutting and ironing, which is the part I hate the most. So we're just gonna get it all done in one day. Then I'm gonna make piles of like, I'll show you, but we're gonna try and just get everything cut. I also need to find, I have a video I followed to make makeup bags. And I'll link it down below, but I need to find a video for bowl cozies or like a printable pattern. And I found these pint cozies that go around like pints of ice cream or ramen cups. And like, I love that. So I'm going to be making some of those too, but I need to find some of those patterns. And I'll link everything, all the patterns I use, I'll link down below. So let's get started. Look at all the zippers. I have bulk zippers for the makeup bags. Also, I thought this would be a cute makeup bag fabric, but it's very, I don't know, it's too kitty. How cute this is. Ooh, fish. So I'm just, um, a lot of my fat quarters are like in these folded squares. So I'm just basically ironing all of the folds out before I cut because the folds will like mess with the dimension so I'm basically prepping all the fabric to cut it oh, the fan doesn't work in this room so I have the window open because it's cold outside today but it is like I'm sweating all right, so I'm about to, well, kind of losing daylight. The sun's going down. I've been in this room for six hours, okay? I'm calling it a night when it comes to sewing. I have other things I have to go do. So I've got about six hours of work. Let me show you what we got done and what I'm kind of leaving for myself tomorrow. So I did all of the cutting and ironing today because it's like my least favorite part of sewing. So I wanted to get it all done the first day and then now everything's prepared for me to sew the rest of the week. So let me show you what we got. These are all the makeup bags. I basically like grouped all of the um, fleece lining and cotton fabric with the zipper and my little tags like all together. So all the bags we're making, I think I have like nine there are nine makeup bags prepped, and then there are, I think, five um, bowl cozies or ice cream cozies. They're the same dimension, so I'm really just going to be, like, doing some bowls and some ice cream, but prepped everything. We've got a lot of cute fabrics um, for these, but I'll show you more of the fabrics, like, when they're done. And then these are 
for the wristlets. Now I'm actually waiting to sew these, so I'll probably sew these last, probably like Friday, because I'm waiting on some thin um, interface that I don't have. I, I ordered some interface for these, and it won't be here till Friday, so we won't be sewing wristlets until Friday. But I did also prepped a stack for corner bookmarks um, because I'm trying really hard not to waste fabric. So basically everything was used. Like all the extra scrap I went through and I cut out the squares for corner bookmarks so that they're still being used. And it's kind of like a cool little thing I can have in like a little basket on my table, you know? So literally almost every piece of scrap, scrap fabric was used. Anything that I didn't use, I put in this Tupperware bin. Um, basically everything that didn't fit the dimension I couldn't use. So it's in here and I'll either use it later at a different project or I'll use it as stuffing in like a crocheted plush. So it is going to get used. I don't want to waste any fabric. So that's what we're doing. But I did have a lot of fabric, um, some fabric patterns left that I'm going to deal with probably like next week. This is just like to get a good base inventory sewn. So once everything that I already cut is made and I can like look and see if it's enough or not, then we might do another round of sewing. But for now, this is what we're trying to get through this week. The goal is to have all of this sewn into stuff by Saturday so that I can have my weekend, but that's the goal. So I am gonna go do other things and I will be back in this room to sew tomorrow. I ate a banana and now I'm here. <laughs> Welcome to day two of sewing every day this week for the sew with me video preparing for my craft market. So yesterday we did all the cutting and the ironing and kind of grouped everything into item category of what I'm gonna be making. Today, we're really just gonna pick an item and make as many of them as possible. Now, I think today's vibe is the makeup bags. That's what I'm gonna start with today. And if I'm not feeling it, I'll probably switch to something else, but I'm kind of excited. I wanna get as many makeup bags done as possible. And I wanna say, I wanna say I have nine makeup bags prepped to sew. So I think nine is like the max we can make. I think the most I've made in one day is like four, so I don't know, but I think it takes me like a little under an hour to make one. And if there's a nine, like I don't think I'm gonna be in here for nine hours, but I mean, we'll see. So I ate a banana, I'm fueled, my breakfast is consumed and I'm getting right to work. So um, it is 10 a.m. I'm gonna um, start now and I'm just gonna sew until either the sun goes down or I get tired, whichever happens first because I actually started a crochet pattern, writing a crochet pattern last night for a crochet dress and I'm really excited about it and I kind of, it's like all I want to do today, but I need to do this because the craft fair is literally in like a week. So I'm in here and my hands need a break from crocheting. They are like dying. So I'm in here. Let's set up the sewing machine on, on the only table surface in this room, which is where you're at right now. So. There's only room for the sewing machine and whatever product I'm making, so my laptop has to be on the floor next to me, so. Yay! I think the first part of this, I'm gonna have to iron the fusible fleece on to the item, so I'm gonna have to go over to my ironing board. All right, I wanna show you this little sewing hack thing I did. So for this part of, this, of the makeup bag, I have to measure one and three fourths, um, one and three fourths inches on each corner for literally eight corners. So what I did was I cut out a one and three fourths little sample thing of cardboard and now I just place it and outline it and this is one and three fourths, one and three fourths. So I can just do that on all the corners instead of having to take my ruler and like measure each thing out over and over again. It just speeds up the process a bit. So definitely recommend making yourself like a little um, like tracer, you know, mold kind of thing out of cardboard so it goes by faster. All right guys, we finished the first makeup bag of the day. Isn't it super cute? I actually, um, I don't know if I can do this with one hand. I added my brand tag in the inside of this one. First time I've ever done that. So it's in the inside, so it doesn't really take away from like the cuteness of the outside, but it is in there because it's a handmade item. So super cute. First one done. Now we have 
eight more eight more stacked and ready to go so it should go by a little faster now that i've like really um reviewed basically the stuff i've already, I've already done this before but i had to rewatch the video slowly because i didn't want to mess it up so now that i like remember what i'm doing it should go by a lot faster but the first one is done and so cute this makes me so excited okay yay let's get the other eight done or at least as many as we can i don't think i'm gonna get them all done today because this took me an hour so and i don't want to be in here for nine hours so but maybe we'll get like five done at some point i might switch over to the ice cream cozies i don't know yet if i get bored of this but for now i'm having a blast so now that i kind of know what i'm doing i can listen to music while i do it <laughs> i was worried i was gonna mess it up so i was just really focused in so one hour a little under one hour and i got the second one done this one is kind of like a tropical theme super cute also i figured out how to do this way better it looks so much cleaner and like nicer with a zigzag stitch and like your finger it's flush so like it doesn't get stuck with the other one i like really messed it up so i don't even think i'm gonna put that one out on the market just because i really messed up that tag and i hate it um but this one's way better it's flush like you're not gonna hit it when you put your hand in the bag um and this one's gorgeous no problems the tag's perfect so this one's our first one <laughs> because the other one i really messed it up let me show you like what i mean like i know i was all excited i know i was all excited about the tag but for one i forgot to take the backing off of the tag so it's super stiff and look i did a straight stitch and like the edges you can like hit your hand on and I just noticed there's a snag in the fabric on this one. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to let my mom use it as, like, a little freebie. Um, but, yeah, I won't be selling this one because it's just does not pass quality control check. So, but this one's perfect. So, we got one done. <laughs> it is 2 o'clock. We just finished another, our second, I'm not counting the very first one we did, so... Although this is the third one we made, this is a second one that's going out on the market. So, um, this one actually is my favorite so far. I'm kind of like really getting the hang of it and making sure everything's kind of like perfect. And so far this one had like no flaws, no issues, no threads hanging out. Also love, love the zigzag stitch for the tag. This one's our first one with a different color inside for today. It's super cute. Oh, I love this one. I love a good like plaid flannel look. So on to the next one. All right, we've got another one made. This one is a B one for all my B lovers. And it's got a little tag in the inside, yellow zipper, super cute, little pull tabs. Love it, love it, love it. Haven't gotten sick of making these yet. And we've got one, two, three, for five left five to make so we'll see if i get them all done today but five left oh my god this one is so cute it's my favorite this is gonna be so hard to sell these because literally every time i make one i just want to keep it but oh my gosh got the tag in there it this is so cute oh my gosh so cute Look at this gorgeous purple one. And the inside is just a solid purple color. But it is so cute. And it's about 4.45. So I actually got this one done in 45 minutes. So I'm going to try. I'm getting faster. And for some reason my sewing machine's also getting faster. I think I accidentally turned the speed up. I don't know how to fix it. So everything's just going hyper speed. But I kind of love it. And I have I think three left to make. All right, the sun is down, my hands hurt. I'm calling it a night, but this is the last one that I made. Super cute, it's pink, love it. And we have two more left. We have this fishy one and then this green daisy one. So we're gonna start tomorrow with these two and then we will move on to the bowl cozies and the ice cream cozies. Another day, another makeup bag to sew. Good morning, it is 11 a.m. We're getting a little bit of a later start to the sewing today i ate a banana it's time to start you know what i mean it's time to get sewing so yesterday we sewed a bunch of makeup bags 
Um, and we had one casualty that will not be making it to the market, but for the most part, we got a lot of makeup bags done. We made seven, six of them are gonna end up in the market. So that's a pretty good day for me. Now we have two makeup bags left to sew, which won't take my whole day. It'd probably take an hour and a half, maybe two hours. So after that, we're gonna get started on the bowl cozies and the ice cream pint cozies. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's like, I mean, we'll get to it, but I could explain it then or I could just explain it now. Like these cozies you can sew to put around a bowl of soup or a bowl of ice cream. It's kind of like an oven mitt for your bowl or like a hot pad for your bowl that just kind of like encompasses the bowl. Um, we're gonna make some of those and we're gonna make some of the ice cream pint cozies. So it's the same concept but in the shape of an ice cream pint. And also I've learned cup of noodle also fits in those. So it's kind of like perfect um, for multiple things, but I'm gonna uh, make some of those, some of those. But the pile of fabric for the cozies, both cozies make the same, like they're the same dimension. It just depends on how you cut it is how you get the shape you want. So I have a pile of the same dimension, but they're not all gonna be the same thing. Um, I'm gonna try and make an even amount. I don't know, I'm just gonna look at the patterns I have and just kinda decide whether or not which one's gonna end up a bowl cozy which one's gonna end up a pint cozy so i don't know yet we haven't got there um but the last two items on our list are the wristlets and the book corner bookmarks so the corner bookmarks and in order to do those i needed this like really thin um what is it called oh my god why am i blinking on the word not invisalign what is it called it, I don't know. I can't remember, but it's the it's the thin like um, Not backing, but you basically put it against something to make it stiffer. Okay. I didn't have any of that in The measurement I needed it like the thin kind. I only have the really thick kind so I ordered some thin and it said it was gonna be here Friday But it's actually gonna come today. So we might end up doing some wristlets if we run out of things to do which I doubt. I don't know how long it's going to take to do those cozies. It's probably going to take, it won't take as long as the makeup bags. The makeup bags are a process, but the cozies seem to be a lot simpler. So I think we might get a lot of sewing done today um, because the, what we have left is quick. So let's get started on the last two makeup bags I have left. I'm just going to um, put on New Girl, I think. Yeah, actually no. We're going to start with music. I start all my days with music and then at some point throughout the day I'm listening to music and I'm like this is making me crazy I need to watch something and I end up putting on New Girl or Vampire Diaries when it comes to sewing that's what I watch just because it's like it's kind of mindless so I think today what are we gonna do for music today? Lana Del Rey Ooh, this is my cleaning house playlist yeah yeah you all the time, goodbye. Oh, I've your love, let me go. Oh, I need clips. You and me. If I'm gonna burn myself, it's gonna be on this part of the process. Ah, uh, I have to fold a really small piece for the pull tab. All right, y'all. It is 11:48. We didn't even hit noon, and look, we have a finished bag. This is probably my favorite um, print out of the ones I've been making, but it's a fish bag and I made the inside pink to kind of match the pink on the fish and the zipper is also pink. And again, we've got the fun um, sewn in brand tag that I learned how to do, which I love that. Um, and I, oh, I just realized I didn't finish it. I have one left little stitch to sew, to have to sew this inside closed. But um, yeah, one down and we've got one makeup bag left. It is 12.30 and we've got the last makeup bag done. She's gorgeous, of course, they're all gorgeous. And it's time to move to our next project, which is bowl cozies or pint cozies. I haven't decided. I think I'm gonna start with a bowl cozy and then do a pint cozy after, but I'm gonna watch some videos and figure out how to do it and then i'll let you know if my first attempt ends up being right now the other thing that i want to try and figure out how to do is i figured out where to put my tags on the bags i want to put a tag on the bowl cozies and the pint cozies but 
I don't know where the tag would go, if that makes sense. Like, I have to figure it out because I don't even know how to make it. So, let's learn how to make it and then I'll figure out where to put the tag as well. Alright, y'all. Figured out how to do it. Look at this bowl cozy. Ah, gorgeous. And I figured out where to put my tag. It's on the side. So, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous girl. And then, you can kind of see my little brand on the side. Isn't that perfect? Oh, okay, it's kind of perfect. The only thing is my my sewing machine was struggling a little bit. Where is my... I was on the floor. Again, I made a little, uh, like, stencil for the stuff I have to measure, so I don't have to keep measuring. But um, my sewing machine was having a little bit of trouble getting through how thick this is because I used two layers of that, like, heat-resistant um, stuff so that it's a cozy so that your hands don't burn. You know, it's like a, the same thing that's in oven mitts, but it's so thick that like my sewing machine was just having a fit, but gorgeous. I'm actually gonna go downstairs and put a bowl in it just to make sure it fits a bowl before I make another one, <laughs> just to double check. Okay, took a long lunch, had a long chat. Um, did not mean to take that much time off, whatever. So. We're back in the room. I finished another bowl cozy. This one has a little bee honeycomb pattern and I put the tag on it again. It's super cute, it's perfect. I've gotten the hang of it. So I have about three, three more cozies cut out. So I think since summer is coming, oh, there's a hair on my camera. I think since summer's coming, I wanna make three ice cream cozies and just have the two bowl cozies but i want to switch over to ice cream cozies i think it's the same idea just a different dimension cut on the sides to make it taller but um so i'm pretty sure it's like the same process but i'm gonna go ahead and switch over to ice cream cozies ice cream cozy ice cream cozy is done look how cute it is it's literally the perfect size for like a pint of ice cream or cup of noodle or even like a mug or something but it's perfect size adorable pink colors so we've got one done it's about the same time it takes as the other one the bowl cozy so there are two left i'm gonna make two more and then we're gonna switch over to wristlets if my lining came in today i have to go check the mail we finished the other ramen cozy and now we have one left all right we got the last little ice cream pint um cup of noodle cozy um made yay so cute all we have left is the wristlets and the bookmarks now i usually call it a night it is seven o'clock and i have taken so many breaks and just like chit chatted and really didn't spend a lot of my day in here um, I only made two makeup bags and five cozies, so I'm, and I'm really in the groove, so I'm going to keep sewing, and I think I'm going to move on to the wristlets, because those are supposed to be really quick, so let's see if we can get as many as possible done. The wristlets, because our, like, lining fabric just came in, was just delivered, so I'm going to go grab the package and get started on those. I mean, it's the next day. I know I'm wearing the same shirt, so that's a little bit confusing, but, um... <laughs> I did sleep in this shirt and I did just wake up, so I'm showering later today. So the shirt might change, but good morning. Um, all I've done today is eat a banana and we're here. Okay, last night I did not leave this room at six like I was gonna. I ended up staying until like 9.30, maybe 10 o'clock just because I was in the zone and I made all the wristlets, all of the wristlets. So let me kind of show you what we ended up with. We've got four of these like um plaid ones and two of the flower ones super cute these are all from the fabrics from the makeup bags we got these two these two flower ones and these two green flower ones and these two now 
I did a lot of thinking last night when it comes to the market and stuff. And although I am still, oh my God, there's hair in my face. I am still doing the market and this is for the market. I, um, I am going to post all of this on my Etsy shop just in case someone wants it and I could sell it um, before I ever get to the market. That'll be fine. I'm going to keep making these leading up to the market, so I'm not worried about having enough. But um, I was only going to take these to the market, but I have so many and they're so cute. So I think I'm going to post everything that I made in this video on my Etsy shop. If any of you guys want the makeup bags or a makeup bag for your crochet hooks or for makeup or for pencil pouch, like it works multiple ways. But or you want a wristlet or you want... Um, any of the cozies or even I'm going to make bookmarks if you want those bookmarks but I'm going to put everything on my Etsy because I need to test and kind of see what people like out of everything I'm making so I know what to make more of for the market so it's kind of like you're like my test subject so if you want any of this stuff I'll link my shop down below and um, you can go buy it and actually maybe I'll even do a code if you use code YT amazing page so YouTube amazing page I'll put it on the screen. Why two amazing page? You'll get a discount. I haven't decided what the discount is yet, but you'll get one. So, okay, we've got, what do we have left today? Oh, we have bookmarks. That's it. Just the bookmarks. So we're going to make all the bookmarks. It's a Friday, so I kind of don't want to work over the weekend. So we're going to do the bookmarks, and then I'm going to take pictures of everything for Etsy and take TikToks of everything for marketing and all of that fun stuff. So today's bookmarks and photo shoots and everything. I gotta wake up, but I got that like interfacing that basically makes these stiff. Um, it's like a thin interfacing and I actually found out I need it for the bookmarks too and I didn't know that. So I actually had to cut like 64, four inch by four inch squares of the interfacing last night. And that's what I did. And it was like 10 o'clock and I wanted to go to bed. So I haven't sewn any of the bookmarks, but I did cut a bunch of interfacing last night. So we're going to sew them. It looks like a very, very quick and easy project. So I'm not planning on spending a lot of time on it. I think the majority of our day is going to be um, photos and marketing TikToks and things like that. So 1.30, okay. Done sewing. So let me show you. We've got some corner bookmarks made they're so cute we have this I'll try and show you see if you'll stay focused this one we've got some blue ones the purple one we've got the um two of the forest ones or jungle ones and then we have the picnic style one even a pink fishy one and an all fishy one and then we've got pink flowers and two of the bumblebee pattern ones. So we've got plenty of options in here and they're super cute. They're the corner ones. So you just put them on like the corner of your book. But anyway, I have sewn everything that I cut out on Monday um, and it is Friday. It's the end of the week. So it is the end of my sewing week, the end of the sew with me video. So if there's um if you want to make any of this stuff i'm putting all the tutorials in the description that i use and if you want to buy any of this stuff for yourself or for another person check out my shop it'll also be linked down below use code yt amazing page for a discount on your order and if you want a monthly sticker or um, more entries into the instagram giveaway then join the patreon which is also linked down below and if you want to be a part of the monthly giveaways go follow me over on instagram which will also be linked down below other than that i will see you in the next video thank you for watching i love you bye